Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Cassie here. It's your boy Kevin. And today we are back with the More Life podcast. And it's been a while since we did a podcast like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited. You yeah. know, get, get the ball rolling. And today we have our guest um, here that, you know, we, we obviously from the More Life podcast, he's been following us on Instagram, I believe. And yeah. um, if you want to go ahead and take the floor, let us know what what's your name, where are you from, um, just a little oh, bit yeah, about man. yourself. Oh yeah, man, that's that's cool, man. My name is David David Holly, uh, but you no, know, I go by the uh, by the nickname of DJ, man, and mm -hmm. just a whole little rundown, man, of uh, kind of kind of where I started, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I was a, a CDL, I'm, well, still is a licensed uh, CDL uh, truck driver, man. You know and stuff. So you know, I've been doing that for these last. Uh, you know, a few years and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, like I explained to Kevin, man, you know, that was that was my job, you know, taking care of my family, you know, being on the road, you know, yeah. going from, you know, state to state, you know what I'm saying, to make a living, to make sure my family and stuff was good, you know what I'm saying? And then just one day, man, you know, everything just did, you know what I'm saying, just did a turn, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, which was out of my control, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but, you know, but I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, I had the opportunity, you know, to be able to come on this podcast, man, and kind of rock out with y'all today. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. And where are you from? My, uh, uh, I'm I'm from Mason, Tennessee. It's it's right here next to Memphis. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm 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 down the street. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, I'm down the street. Yeah, yeah. So I go. I leave here about ten minutes. I'm I'm in the city of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like just a town right next to it, but it's right yeah. here, basically the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But but yeah, man, that's where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. You know, yeah. Okay. All right then, and then also for the people out there, what level is your injury? Uh, well, right now my uh, I had I had a cervical infusion done at like okay. at like the C four, you know what I'm saying, kind of mm -hmm. uh, at the C four area. But uh, like I like I explained to you, Kev, when I uh, had the phone conversation with you, you know, my body didn't change, you know, as your body started to heal. You know, yeah. sometimes I know everybody different, but you know, mm -hmm. um, I started to get a lot of sensation back. A lot of my yeah. heel came back, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm like a like a like a T four, T six, something like that. So mm -hmm. you know, I got I got my full upper body, you know, what okay. I'm saying? strength and That's everything. Good. You know what I'm saying? It's just like mm -hmm. I said, it's just the mobility, but I still have, you know, what I'm saying like sensation and feel in my legs and all that stuff. Like I said, it's just the mobility right now. So okay, I'm hoping all that stuff just changed, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's yeah, I'm still working with it. I'm on a year in. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. And then also, when your injury first happened, was you labeled a quadriplegic or was you labeled a paraplegic? No, nah, paraplegic. paraplegic. Paraplegic? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then also, how long have you been driving trucks? Man, I've been driving trucks, man, about, about five years. About five years? About five years, man. Okay. Is that something that you're looking to get back into? My yeah, man, yeah, I do, I do want to get back into it, but right now, man, like, I didn't, I didn't did it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's one of them things now, man. I'm I'm like I'm like, look, like, I'm gonna go, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get, get put somebody in the truck, man, and just yeah. let them, you know, let them do their thing, man, and sit back and you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and do other stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? But you know, I wouldn't mind. I do it in the day, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I said, I love it. You know, I've been doing it for mm -hmm. you know for a lot for a while. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know. Like I said, man, it's 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 a good living, you know, doing it. You know, it's time mm -hmm. away from your family, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. but other than that, man, it's it's cool. You know, I enjoy it. Okay. Okay, yeah, because I know I talked to somebody on Instagram. I, th I believe his name is Trucking on Wheels. And uh -huh. he's in a wheelchair, and he drives trucks. And he was able to. Yeah, oh, like I said. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was like able said, to get the truck uh, fitted for him. Oh yeah, that's cool. Like uh, mm -hmm. like I said, man, I uh, I got rid of when the accident happened, man. You know, I didn't have no nobody trustworthy enough, you know, yeah. to put in my eighteen wheeler because I was an owner operator. So okay, you know, uh, I went a different route with that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I also used to be involved in doing hot shot. You know what I'm saying? Hot shot trucking. You okay. Know, uh, 
you know, and stuff out of my 3500 dually, you know, so I still got that, you know, and stuff. Oh, so, okay. you know, I was like, you know, I know the 18 wheeler, you know, and stuff I could get back in there, but, you know, I'm going to just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, just keep keep everything, you know, comfortable for me, man, and put my controls in the dually, man, and, yeah. and just, you know what I'm saying, just see what route I want to do with that, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, okay. like I said, man, it's just, it's just one of them things now, just figuring out what I want to do, you yeah. know what I'm saying, because this wheelchair don't stop now, man. And it don't. It's, it's much more to life, man, than, yes. than just because, you know, I, when, I, when it first happened, I used to be like, man, you know, you know, like yeah. everything going to change, everything this, man, it, it's not. It's just an appearance, you know what I'm saying? It's exactly. It's an appearance, but, man, don't nothing change, man. You know what don't. I'm saying? I'm still able to take care of my family, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Still able to raise my little girl. So, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, to me, man, it, it just it is what it is, man. Life goes on. It does. Okay, and so for the people out there, if you want to go ahead and just tell us, how long have you been in a wheelchair and what happened? Like, what? What day was your accident? Yeah, what day was your accident? Uh, I had my accident on uh, on August the 11th, uh, 2021. Damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, August the 11th, yeah. Okay. So it just came up on like a, uh, on a, a year. year, you know what I'm saying, mm. like a month ago. Oh, yeah, wow. You know what I'm saying and stuff. So, yeah, so like I said, man, it, it's, it's been a month. And um, like I was telling Kel, man, uh, how, how the whole accident happened, man, yeah. I was I was getting ready to leave to go and get my little girl some food because I was going to go on the road to go to Atlanta, Georgia uh-huh. to go and pick up a load. Okay. And um and man, as I you know right down the street from the house, man, the lady hit me from behind, and um I lost control of the vehicle. I tried to stop, but I lost control of the vehicle and went across the road. And as I went across the road, I got I got t-boned by another vehicle, mm-hmm. so which oh caused God. the vehicle to flip. So the vehicle flipped, uh you know several times, you know ejecting my daughter out the vehicle, um and stuff, and ejecting me out too. But I got ejected out partially. But the vehicle had rolled over on me. So, mm. you know, I was blessed to have people, you know, that was standing out, you know, that was able to come and, you know, and uh, uh, several people came and picked the vehicle up off of me, you know, mm. and stuff like that. And, you know, like I said, I don't remember everything, you know, what mm. happened, man. But, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, man, because it mm. could have been yeah. the other way around, you know. Yeah. And for me to have a vehicle land on me, man, and not break none of my legs or anything like yeah. that. And, just have a broken neck, broken ribs, mm-hmm. uh, sternal mm-hmm. fracture, you know, and other stuff going on. You know, I was cool with that, you know what I'm saying? Because it could have yeah. been worse, man. And my daughter, she For was sure. okay. You know, she just ended up having a stitch, you know what I'm saying? So, oh you know, goodness. me, I'm dead, man. So yeah. uh, if it was her on the other end, you know, that took the worst of it, you know, ain't no telling how it would be, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But by me taking the worst end and to see her be able to walk around and come in here and, you know, just live her day, you know, her right. her life, man, as a kid, man, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I can take that, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm dad, I can take that, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just it, what it is, man. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Definitely. Now, now, was you driving a car or was you driving a truck when, the, when this no, happened? No, I was in the car. You was now, in the I car? I was in the car, man. I, uh, yeah, I was, in, I was in the SUV and I, uh, I wasn't in the truck, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody, used to, everybody thought I was. Like, man, were you in the truck? Cause, mm-hmm. You know, I'd be on the road and stuff. You know, my yeah. family, they thought I was in the truck, but I wasn't, man. I was in the SUV, you know, okay. uh, and yeah. stuff, just trying to go, just go feed the fam, man, before, yeah. you know, just go to do what I do daily, you know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. drive truck, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did all the, like, when you got, and when you were in the accident, do you remember if all the airbags came out? Like, was your daughter still in her seat uh, kind of thing? Uh, like, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I was in, man. I, it was kind of like an in and out thing, man. I, I remember, I remember spots, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't remember like everything that happened, man. It's, it, yeah. it went from knowing I got hit, trying to stop to blanking out, wait, mm-hmm. you know, getting up, having a vehicle up, you know what I'm saying? Having mm-hmm. everybody surrounding me, land, you know what I'm saying? It was all yeah. crazy. I didn't even know what my daughter was at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stuff because I was out of it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in my, you know, my right mm-hmm. mind. I just going through all that trauma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't know, you know, uh, you know how how everything was. I just know my body was just numb, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? I knew it wasn't numb, and I couldn't do nothing. So mm-hmm. you know, and I kind of went out of it again. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, what part of the car did you end up coming like halfway out of? Was it the driver's oh, side was, door? Or was it the yeah, windshield? The driver, yeah, the, yeah, the driver's side. The driver's side the door. Driver's side. Mm-hmm. Okay. The driver's side window. Now, uh, all right. Now, do you know what window your uh, your daughter came out of? Man, I still I still don't know, bro. You don't know. I still don't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. what I'm telling you. Like I read I read the yeah. police report, man. And when I, and after I read the police report, it it man, you know, because people witnessed it, so it yeah. it kind of like kind of like shook me. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like I didn't know about everything. I just knew you know the wreck had happened. You know my mm-hmm. situation, knew what I was going through, but. When I found out the vehicle was on me and people picked it up off of me that was in the local shopping center and stuff like that, man, it was mm-hmm. just like, 
man, you know, I, I couldn't do nothing. I'm just like, man, like for real, like it just all hit me. Like I actually went through all that, me and my baby, man, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But like I said, once I refrain from all that and just look at my daughter, man, you know, from from her being in that vehicle with me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And to see her, man, it kind of just changed my whole attitude, you know what I'm saying? Like with me dealing with the stuff that I'm going through myself, you know okay. what I'm saying? Because when I look at her, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, yeah. she's, she look up to me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So if she see me down, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm feeling hurt, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's one of those things like, suck it up, man, keep going. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't not stop. Exactly, exactly. How old was yeah. your daughter? Uh, my daughter just turned four, man, September. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And, yeah, so she was young. Okay. And when you guys were you guys buckled, like were you buckled up? Did you have your seatbelt on? And was she? Oh, uh, I had up? my, I had, yeah, I had my baby in the seat and everything. I had her situated, but I wasn't. You know what I'm right. saying? I wasn't. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Now was that something that you normally do that you just normally just jump? Uh, that you normally just jump in the car and don't put on seatbelt? Man, nah, I put my seatbelt on, cause man, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. Yeah. yeah. Being a CDL driver, man, like that's 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 a real important thing, man. That seatbelt, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Being in them trucks, so yeah, I put my seatbelt on. But man, like I said, I was running down the street, so it was like, yeah. come on, yeah, let's go get some food, put my baby, and make sure she was straight. But the crazy part of it is, normally I put her on the opposite side, you know, of me, so I can turn to be able to see her. Yeah. And that particular day, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason, I put her behind me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I went across the road, the vehicle hit that side that she normally be on. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. You see what I'm saying? So like yeah. I said, man, you know, God do everything for a reason. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So it ain't, it ain't for me. You know, I ain't going to ask no questions. You know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, I ain't going to ask no questions, man. So it's just one mm-hmm. of those things. It ain't for me to understand. Just, you know, it's mm-hmm. still happening. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I understand that later on down the line. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just glad she wasn't on that side. You know what I mean? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when you end up coming back to, I know you said that you only remember spots. So you came back to when you was on the ground? Yeah, man. I was laying on the ground, man. Okay. I, yeah, I was laying on the ground, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, going so, in and out, you know? Yeah. Now, do you know at, at that particular moment if you could feel your body or you couldn't feel anything? I mean, I could move. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of weird, bro. I, I it's like one of them things. It's yeah. like you have to be in this situation, man, for me to be able to, yeah. you know, under, to, for you to be able to understand me. It was just like I had my up, but I knew I had been involved in an accident. But the way my body felt, the lower part of my body felt, it was just like, I ain't know if I had broke something. Like, okay, maybe I just broke a leg, a leg, yeah. feel numb. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. that it wasn't like I couldn't feel numb, just like, just like numb. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and that's how it was, you know, so I didn't know. I didn't even know my neck was broke. You know, like I said, I was in and out of it, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know none of that. I didn't know spinal cords messed up. I just remember laying there and at the land there for, for, for a few minutes, man, they come lift me up and cutting my stuff up off of me. And man, I just went out of it again. When I got up, man, I had a halo screwed in my head, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that, laying on the, uh, you know, on the hospital bed, man, you know, to keep my neck from moving because they didn't do surgery yeah. like the day after the accident so i had a halo screwed in my head you know what i'm saying and all that stuff man and when i got up man i just got up asking about my daughter you know what i'm saying and, yeah. and um and by the time you know my my girlfriend or which is my daughter's mom by the time she she came in the room you know i asked her you know where my baby was in and stuff and she told me she was like she fine she just had a stitch you know she okay you know and, right. and it was like i went out of it again you know i could be at peace then because mm-hmm. i was like you know i knew she was okay yeah. You know, so it was like now, nah, now you just handle your business now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's crazy because you know, everything that happened to you, and then your daughter just, you know, she came out fine. It sounds like you yeah. know, it's yeah. it's it's like a blessing, honestly, too. You know? Yeah, it is, True. man. It is, man. And, and like when you have kids, when you when you get kids, man. Uh, I know I be I I seen you know you guys and I you know I know I. I know y'all, you know, one time me just watching y'all on y'all YouTube, you know, y'all have been, you know, saying trying to have a kid, man. It's one of them things like when you get a kid, you actually really know where where I'm coming from, man. Yeah. When you think about the child first before you think about yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like one of them things, man. It's like automatic. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's what I was worried about. I knew I was going through what I was going through, but I was mainly worried about her, man, because like I said, man, I can't even tell you and I don't even want to think about the way I feel, man, if, you know, yeah. if something had been, that you know, way right. worse, you know, that happened to my daughter. Yeah. yeah you know, so that would have made this whole situation way worse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and I'm glad, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and another thing, man, I'm, I'm blessed, you know, it's cause she don't watch me. You know, she knows she, she got a chance to be with me when I was up, be able to do everything for her, do all yeah. of that. So now she done went with me through this day. So she understand, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah. And, and yeah, and, it, and everything worked out, man. She, she very helpful. You know, she, Aww. she know I'm in a wheelchair. She That's tell so me all the sweet. time, daddy, you gonna get up and walk. You, yeah. in that wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. to me, man, it's motivation, man. That's why I don't stop. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I yeah. stay on the ground, man. I don't stop, man, because if, if my child can tell me that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just like clarification. Like she must right. know something I don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She must know something I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. So you know, That's it's just one of those things, man. To have a have a, a three year old at the time, man, encouraging me. You know, and even still to now, man, she had every therapy appointment, man. You know, encouraging uh-huh. me, man, and doing everything. And that, man, I, I wouldn't trade that. I wouldn't trade her for mm-hmm. man, nothing in this world. Yeah, you know, nothing. So she's your drive. She's the one pushing yeah, you. Yeah, she's my drive all the way. Yeah, yeah. that's that's great. And you know, for her to kind of know what you know, instead of having to explain to your daughter what happened to you, it's kind of like she went through it with you, and she knows, yeah. you know. So it's 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 crazy for yeah. her to see all that. And yeah, she's gonna grow up yeah. and and see how yeah she how you push through yeah she. She getting there, man. She yeah, she she will, man. I just hate you know her being so young, you know, to have to go through that, you know, and stuff. But you know, like you said, man, I I ain't gonna ask no questions, you know, what I'm saying and stuff on why this why such and such happened, this mm-hmm. and that. I ain't gonna do yeah. that, man. It's just one of them things, you know. I will understand that later on down the line. Like I said, man, it's just a little minor setback for a major comeback. Man. Yeah, exactly. A lot of times we don't understand why stuff happened, man. But it ain't for us to understand right now. We'll see later on. Why mm-hmm. stuff happened the way it did? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah. And how long were you in the hospital after your accident? Like, how long? Oh, uh, I was in the hospital, man. Probably about like three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Three weeks. I was in the hospital like about <laughs> yeah, probably about like three weeks. Yeah. Something like that. If not, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I don't even remember. I know it was three weeks. And then mm-hmm. the, I got to rehab. I went straight from there, transporting me. I was in Nashville because that's where we were staying at at the time. That's what okay. the accident happened. I was in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, so, uh, when I went to rehab, you know, I had all my family and stuff back here. So, uh, I know y'all probably heard of Shepherd Center. Yeah. yeah. In Atlanta. I was going to go. Yeah. I was going to go to the Shepherd Center, man, in Atlanta, man. But, uh, you know, my family, man, trying to make it easy on them and to be able to have the support, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. So I, I ended up going to a rehab that was out, out here in Memphis, okay. Tennessee. So they transported me from, from Nashville out here to Memphis. So, you know, I was down around all my family, you know, and still was That's able to you know, have that support. So, you know, everything worked yeah. out, man, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Okay, so when you wake up, and then I know you said that you got the halo in your head. Can you, like, feel your arms? Can you feel, like, little sensations in your legs? Like, what, like, what can you feel and what can't you feel? I mean, I, yeah, I had the arm move, but me having the halo, man, I couldn't really, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to explain, man. You have all this metal screwing in your head, man. It was kind of, mm-hmm. I couldn't do much. I couldn't move much. I could move my arms and do all that stuff, man, but you know, yeah. body was still in shock, man. When your body still in shock, wasn't mm. nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It wasn't, it went from being, having being numb yeah. to body just being in the shock to where it was like, like nothing, man. I couldn't feel nothing. So, yeah. you know, over the same period of time, man, it, it just started to change. You know, I, okay. I watched my body just change, man, like, yeah. like quick too. You know what I'm saying? It was, mm. it was so crazy. I, I wouldn't get comfortable because I, man, it was, it, it was crazy. I can, I can give you a, man, I can sit here and talk hours, man, about this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Was you dealing with any pain? Man, bro, to be honest, man, not, I ain't gonna say not much. I mean, mainly like from the neck, man, because having to be mm. have, dealing with your neck being broke, then I, you know, like I said, I had broke ribs. You know, I had a sternum yeah. fracture in my chest. Uh, my uh, another injury, I, man, I mean, forgot to even mention, man, to you, man, like my my uh my shut my collar my uh, collarbone and stuff, but they still separated, you know, and mm. stuff. So yeah, so like uh, on my left side. So it was kind of, man, and that's something I found out, like being in the hospital for, you know what I'm saying, for like a week. I'm like, man, my arm hurt, you know, shoulder hurt and stuff. Yeah. Didn't know what it was from. Just thought it was just, you know, bruised up or something, man. And yeah. finally got an MRI done. They told me about that. So, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it's everything healed now, but you know, mm-hmm. it was just, that was the pain. That was where I dealt with the pain from besides mm-hmm. my neck. But as far as talking about like my body and stuff being in yeah. pain, I mean, you know, when your body numb, it's just like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't pain like that. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my pain was up towards the part that I actually really feel, you know what I'm saying? Like the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now was you able to eat? Yeah, I was able to eat. Okay. I, I was able to eat. Like I said, I had a little 
uh, I had so much stuff going on, y'all, man. You know, forgive me, man, for, you know, missing stuff. But like I said, I had a little spot that was on my brain, like a little bleed on the brain. So they got that, they got that uh, situated and stuff like that. So uh, when I did start eating, I was like aspirating and stuff a little bit. I, and I guess that's from my ribs, you know what I'm saying, stuff being broke. And I was glad I didn't puncture my lungs, you know what I'm saying, stuff. But I had like fluid and stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, in my lawns and stuff like that. So that was like the only <clears throat> problem that I that I dealt with, man, as far as being able to eat, you know, and I had to get that stuff situated, you know. But after mm-hmm. getting all that done, you know, situated and stuff, I was pretty much good with eating. Yeah. It was just being able to have an appetite, man, from just being there like that. Mm-hmm. Now, did you ever, yeah. uh, did the doctor ever come out and tell you, like, what you were diagnosed with? Like, pretty much that you're paralyzed or did he ever come out and... Yeah. Yeah, you know, being honest, man, I heard it from my mom. You know, my mom had, when when I first, you know, when I seen my mom, yeah. she told me, she was like, you know, uh, you know, told me I was paralyzed and stuff like that and, you know, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it kind of was like a blackout, man, when the doctor would come in there telling me little stuff because they knew what they had to explain that to them. But, yeah. you know, they didn't want them putting, you know, just kind of overload me with all that stuff by stuff just not happening. So, you mm-hmm. know, they kind of broke the news to me, told me what was going on, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. stuff like that. So that's where I found it out. Now, all the other stuff about my, you know, my neck and stuff like that, of course, when mm-hmm. they're coming in, checking on me after all that, you know, after finding out and my yeah. shoulder and all that stuff. Now, yeah, they told me that. But as far as, you know, just telling me how the journey was gonna be. Nah, they never said anything, and I'm glad because, you know, like I said, man, they can't, my daughter can't tell me, man. Like, it'd be like, man, you would never walk again, you would never do this, man. I don't wanna hear it from you. I ain't even gonna ask you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I don't wanna disappoint myself asking you something that you only telling me the book sense of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because it ain't yeah. up to them, it ain't up to the doctor, man, if I'm gonna walk again. Right. You know what I mean? It's it's up to God, man. So, you know, I, I don't put my trust in no doctor, man. You know what I mean? I, I got faith in God, man. So. You know, this is, uh, that's that's what I stand by. So you know, if if it's if it's God time, then I I, I believe I'm walk. But I ain't, I ain't never asked no doctor no questions like that, man, because I don't want you to disappoint me. It's already you know bad enough dealing with this whole situation with being paralyzed and mm-hmm. your life changing to having to do stuff. So for me to ask yeah. a doctor that, man, and you disappoint me, just putting more on me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, now, at what moment do they actually like put you in a wheelchair for the first time? Oh uh, man, I got in the wheelchair for the first time. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna be honest, man. I didn't get in the wheelchair for the first time until I got until I got the rehab. And for real? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When I got the rehab, man, because of because like I said, because of my injuries, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and stuff like that, and you know. Uh, Man, from being paralyzed, man, from your chest down, man, I couldn't get myself at the time, and so we bust, couldn't get myself or couldn't hold me. Yeah. It was, man, it was rough, man. So, so like I said, yeah, I didn't get in the wheelchair till I got the rehab. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you get around? Like just getting up out being there. Being honest, bed? like they was uh, excuse, like well, when I got the rehab, like I said, you know, rehab was that's when I started actually doing my yeah. rehab, started going through therapy. So, they would like uh. Uh, basically pick me up in a whole lift uh-huh. oh. and uh and get me out the bed like that and place me into the chair you know and stuff I because see. i couldn't yeah. i couldn't do all the slide and i couldn't do none of that stuff yet i worked myself up to you know what i'm saying to being able to do all of that so that's right. how i got in and out you know you know out of the bed and stuff like that but yeah you know up until when i got you know some weeks after being in there you know i was able to you know get in the chair you know to build the strength like that. But, yeah to balance your yeah, body yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah Okay, so when you get the therapy, like, what's that like? When you first get there, like, how you feeling? Like, what's that like for you? When the, oh, you know, like being a rehab, that what you mean? Yeah, like, uh-huh. yeah. Man, I went to, uh, man, I went to therapy like twice a day, man. So you know, it, it was kind of hard, man, going from, you know, what I'm saying, you know, have, you know, you're being able to do stuff on your own, yeah. being able to do stuff, the bread that can hold yourself up, feeling wobbly, like. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff, man. It was it was kind of hard on me, man. But man, you know, like after going through it that first day, it was either like, man, look, either you gonna either you gonna go through this, man, or you gonna sit here and let this stuff just break you down, man. And from that point on, you know what I'm saying? I I, I went at it hard. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they asked mm-hmm. me to do, I tried to do it. If I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. everything, you know, they they tried to do with me, man. I I tried yeah. to do it at my best ability. 
you oh. know, and, and man, and quick, man, I ended up getting that strength, was able to do a whole lot of stuff, yeah. you know, even with my balance, being able to hold my balance, man, I, and all that stuff, it, it happened so fast, man, so it was, it was just having that determination, like, yeah. man, I ain't finna give up, man, this might be like this now, but that don't mean it's gonna be like that later on, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and, and I, and I, I fought through it, man, I fought through it. Yeah, and what do you feel like was the hardest part about going through therapy, like, what was the hardest thing that you felt like that you had to learn or something that you have, you know, like the most trouble with. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, the hardest, man. That's that's tough right there. Cause I, I mean, when I really, I be honest, man. The hardest, like I said, the hardest thing was was just being able. It was me getting to that point to where I was able to get in the wheelchair and not need that, you know, the holy lift. But another thing, man, was was me being able to. The hardest part of this whole si- situation was. What's the bowel moving in in the in the yeah. you know being able to know when you're using it and stuff like that mm-hmm. because like I said my body had changed so I wouldn't know you know certain stuff man and it was it, yeah. that was the hardest part right there man yeah. I'm just figuring Learning you know trying to get that part figured out mm-hmm. yeah trying to learn my body man if if anything like I say was hard man that was that was the hardest part man was mm-hmm. trying to figure out my body but when my body body changed and so fast like that and stuff body mm-hmm. changed and stuff like that man it was it was kind of hard like the try to keep up was like soon as I, I started to try to lean towards trying to learn like body just changed and it was yeah. like you know not for the worst but for the better mm-hmm. you know what I mean so yeah. you know like I said that's that's been the hardest part man was getting myself to a point you know to where I was able to you know kind of figure my body out yeah. yeah and what is one thing that you feel like helped you learn how your you know learn how you learned your body like what's one thing maybe you could also recommend to somebody out there who's newly injured you know they're wanting to learn how to learn their body what is like one thing you would what one advice you would give to them you know i'm gonna be honest man it's it's, it's basically i i, I say it's just like this man it's just paying attention yeah. you know what i'm saying paying attention man figuring out what you actually know you know that you act actually able to do it and what you can't because mm-hmm. what you actually know you're able to do you know you can do it but the stuff that you can't you know what i'm saying that's the part that you need to figure out so like yeah. me i wouldn't know you know what i'm saying when i was you know having a bowel movement man i wouldn't know so you know but i could tell like you know like having like a little feeling when i needed to use it you know what i'm saying and yeah. stuff but you know i was kind of so that was like what i was battling with it's like okay i can kind of tell when I need to, you know, urinate, mm-hmm. but it was like yeah. my bowel movement. I, I don't know. It's like, it just come, you know, I, I didn't know that. So once I, but what I noticed as my body started to heal, as my body still started to change, man, I was able to, you know what I'm saying? I was able to be able to tell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I knew, you know, so it was just, it was just paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I didn't, I always paid attention to my body because I knew it was changing mm-hmm. so fast. So I was just paying attention. You know what I mean? Listening to the doctor just saying like, hey, what do you think can help? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And stuff. And like, you know what I mean? They tell you about catheterizing, tell you do the catheterizing. Yeah. Yeah. Or you either got the the cath on, you know, mm-hmm. like urinating the bag, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and really, man, for bowel movement, it's, it's when you have an injury like me and and couldn't, you know, I, could, I wasn't able at the time, you know, to go to the bathroom. I couldn't do that. So it was like, yeah. man, sitting there, man, just having to, have somebody cleaning you up, having to do all that. I'm like, man, I'd be glad when I know it because when I know, I can have myself in a situation where I'm like, hey, I know I need to use it. I don't want to be sitting up here yeah. at therapy and then sit up here and use it on myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like I said, man, it was just paying attention because yo, everybody is different. I tell you like that, everybody is different. So, but I might, you know, my body might have been changing fast like that, but to a person that body, you know, it's not, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's new, it's new to this, you know, being paralyzed, whether they're quadriplegic or whether they're paraplegic, man, it's, it's just, just being patient, just be patient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up, just be patient, man. Just pay attention, mm-hmm. you know, to yourself because your body is not how it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So it's just learning it all over again. Okay. Okay, now when they come to, you know, uh, like bowel care and everything, like do you, let me see how would I put this, like, do you manage it yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I manage myself. Like I know it's okay. kind of like one of them things. I, I I be honest with you, man. Like now, from how I was then, man, and and it's it's confused because like people that see me now, like everybody that done went through the journey, like my girl and tell you, my mom and like they can tell you, I went from not being able to feel done, man, to being able to tell. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Being able to know, like okay. you know and stuff, and yeah, and so it was, it's kind of like one of them things. Like when I know I gotta use it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, mm. I know I gotta use, it, so I know I gotta prepare myself and go ahead and you know, 
mm-hmm. I'm gonna do my thing, do what I gotta do. And it's like urinate. It's like we urinate, man. A lot of people see me, they be like, man, you don't have a, a calf or you don't calf yourself. And 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 I'm like, nah, man. So, you know, I keep a urinal with me. I keep a bottle with me because I yeah. can tell when I have to, you know, when I have to urinate. Mm-hmm. So I keep, you know, keep that with me, man. And, and yeah. I just use it, you know what I'm saying? You know, and stuff. And and that's another thing I'm happy about, man. People be like, why you don't calf and you empty your bladder? But, you know, being being in, you know, in rehab, man, and they seen how much I would urinate, you know, they were like, well, you're urinating enough. It ain't like you not barely urinate. You're urinating, a, a, you know, a lot. So, you know, if you could tell you got to use the restroom, you know, you know, practice, yeah. you know, you're using any journey, you know, and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's what I did. And I was yeah. like, I don't want to have that uncomfortable cathone, man. It's so uncomfortable breaking yeah. and stuff, man. And I, did, I didn't like that, man. And yeah. I didn't like the, the fact of having to stick, you know, that man having to catheterize, man. Even yeah. now, I'd be wanting to try, like, just to be trying, but I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just, you know, stick to what I'm doing, man. You know, nah, I'd be wanting to try, but it's like, you know, I'd be like, nah, man. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like it, you know. Yeah. I yeah, mean, like I said, everybody different. Mm-hmm. And if you really don't need the cath with the catheter, you, there ain't really no point. You know, if you can manage it, yeah. then that's fine. But uh-huh. at the same time, you know, for the people out there, I know this because me and you talked offline. But um, I would say that the biggest thing is that your injury is an incomplete injury versus a complete injury. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. so, so yeah. that's why a lot of yeah. things so was able to like come a back. T six incomplete. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I was real blessed about, man. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and I, and I'm still thankful. Like, and I'm and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. The most most stuff I deal with now is spasm, man. I'm gonna be honest. With okay. Spasm, and 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 the reason why I say that is because, man, like, um, you know, when you come from your body not being able to move mm-hmm. and stuff. So when I finally did see my leg start to move and kick, I'm like. Oh man, you know, I was I yeah. was all with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy because I'm like, okay, man, yeah. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't paying attention to it, you know, like I'm like, everybody was like, man, maybe you should take spasm, man. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want it. So I just dealt with it because mm-hmm. I was like, man, I'm I'm seeing my leg move. I'm like, I ain't gonna take nothing, you know, this yeah. that's yeah. Right. it's gonna legs moving and stuff, man. I wanted to move. That's you know? a good yeah. sign. <laughs> I went through that, yeah. So so I went through it, man, and then like I just started to notice, man, like the spasms just started to get bad, you know, well get worse than what they was. And I ain't gonna say it was worse to where like, it's just painful, man, when your legs, it be the nerves, man. Your body be trying to do one thing and mm. legs be doing another thing. So legs be kicking and stuff, man, real yeah. hard. Or, or and my leg raise up or start shaking and yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and stuff like that. And it be crazy, yeah. cause like I be sitting there and my mom, they be like, you just moved your leg. I'm like, my spasm, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> stuff. So it's like one of those things, that's, that's it, man. But it's yeah. good, spasms are good to a certain extent because spasms can help yeah. you also. Definitely. You know, with certain stuff. So, like I said, I don't, and I still don't look at it as a bad thing. But to say something is painful, man, you know, stuff that that can be pains and those spasms because they keep it keep it just keeps your muscles and stuff and stuff real tight. Yeah. You know, it's just like a cramp, man. It just yeah, they, you know, yeah. and that's the only thing. Other than that, man, mm-hmm. you know, everything else pretty. You know, it's it's pretty much, man. It's it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, how would you explain explain the pain of a spasm for, for somebody out there who don't know? Because I don't know. Cause I don't get spasms. So since my levels yeah, are, incom- I, I mean, since my levels are complete, I don't get spasms. So yeah, like my spasm. It, and, and then another thing, man, it, it just depends on like what part of the body, like what you're in. You know what I'm saying? Like what part? Because like I have spasm, and they like they might trade legs, or it might be in like my real area, like and stuff like where, yeah. like in some areas, like where I was hurt at, man. But like to somebody that deal with spasm, man, I I would I would recommend. You know, it's cool to see your body do that, but at least try to take some kind of, you know, uh, yeah. you know, spasm medicine and stuff because yeah. it can get painful, man. And like, I, I go to therapy, you know, I, I go to a neurotherapy, so I, I can run into a lot of people that spasm like way worse than mine. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it everybody is different, man. You might meet people that might might not have spasm. Like I got a partner, man. He in a wheelchair, and he don't have spasm. You know, yeah. he was in a motorcycle accident. He don't have, you know, he don't have spasm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. He you probably know, had a complete me. injury like me, like me. So since yeah, my injuries you know. are, are complete, I don't have spasms at all. So I don't really know yeah, what they yeah. are. That's why I ask. Yeah, you know and stuff, and and it's crazy because I be hearing people like, man, I don't have spasms. So I'll be like, yeah, I have spasms, and they'd be like. It's just, man, like I said, it's, it just, man, it just happened, man. Like, I, I might be sitting here to y'all, man. Y'all might just see me 
man, like move or something, right. do something, man. Yeah. Might a spasm yeah, might kick in. You just never know. This whole little yeah. conversation, man, it might yeah. it might happen. But it's just be spasm, man. But it's ways around. Like you can take stuff for it, you know, yeah. to get it Definitely. down and take stuff. Okay, you know, to keep you from having spasms and stuff like that. But for the most part, mm-hmm. it can actually help you. You know, in a way too. So, like I said, yeah. for any any other people that's out here that's going through it or having spasms, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you feel like you need to take some for it, you know, take some for it. But if you feel like, you know, it's beneficial to you, you know, then then you know, just just weigh your options. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And and if you need to talk to a doctor about it, talk to a doctor about it. But don't let it get bad to where it's painful to you because I'm gonna tell you. Man, that stuff will wake you up out your sleep, man. Legs mm. be kicking. I'm sitting there laying one way, legs stretched out, and man be kicking my hat, throwing y'all off. And man, I'm like, damn, come on, man. You know, so like yeah. I said, when they get to that point, you be like, yeah, I need I need to get something. I be telling them now, like, yeah. forget that. I'm going to get something for mine now, mm-hmm. man, because this is getting out of hand, you know, and stuff. Nah, but I before, man, I was just so happy to see my, you know, my body, you know, and legs and stuff moving and all that stuff to where I wasn't, I was like blocking out all the other stuff because I was, I was worried about, you know, the mobility part, like worried yeah. about getting all that back. And and it was cool to me because I could actually see my legs move. So I'm like, man, I don't want to take nothing that's going to stop it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. Okay. Um, I was so, going to ask, yeah. and then how long did it take you to kind of get back to, I guess, regular life? Like, did you, before your accident and then after your accident, what were like some big differences? Like, did you... Did you stop driving trucks or did you take a break or yeah, you know? yeah like since the accident happened, like I had I hadn't been in the truck, you know what I'm saying, and stuff in years. You know, I'm just not getting you know, I could have been, you know, back driving and stuff. I could have been did that, but yeah. I kinda when you drive so long, man, just being on the road driving so long, man, and stuff, I kinda enjoy being on the passenger side action ride. So yeah. I kinda yeah. like, got lazy with that for a minute, but you know what I'm saying? Now I'm actually in the process of getting, getting my uh, my evaluations and stuff set up. I was actually talking to Kev about that on the phone. You know what I'm saying? And stuff. He gave me some different options and stuff. So, yeah, I'm ready to get back get back to that. Now I'm like, man, nah, forget that, man. I done rode enough. I'm used to driving. You know what I'm saying? That was, that, was, that was how I make a living. So, you know, I'm used to that now. So I'm just worried about getting in that stage. You know, that's just the next part of my journey, just get back. You know, yeah. driving and stuff. You know, and and then when I already know me, man. Once I get back driving and get everything in the vehicle, I'll be ready to jump back in the dual truck then. So, you know, I, it's just one of the things. I'm just taking it step by step. But as far as talking about mobile and going places, man, like mm-hmm. it broke me in quick because I was having to travel back and forth to Nashville for my my appointments and stuff oh, like yeah. that. So. Yeah, so me and my lady, we would get on the road and go to Nashville, drive them a little few hours, come, you know, go to my appointments and come back. So how I was long was the drive? We were getting in and out. Well, from here, like like three hours, you know. Okay. So okay. I was going back and forth out there to go to my appointments, which I still do, you know what I'm saying, and stuff. Because that's actually where we were staying and what actually happened. So I was, you know, comfortable with my doctors out there and by them knowing what actually went on with me, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and stuff like that. And knowing, I was like, I'd rather keep it like that. So. You know, yeah. I try we travel and stuff out there going, you know, going back and forth. So, so it didn't take me long to get in that habit of getting in and out. So now man, I stay gone, man. It, it, you know, I don't I don't sit still either. I'm in therapy or, you know, we stay on the move, man. Just trying to, you know, because you have to get yourself back, man. I notice when you stay in the house, man, sit in the house, man, you you come depressed, man. And and, it, and that yeah. ain't no no spot you wanna be in, man. You know, because then you don't wanna do nothing. I went through that stage and you know, they didn't let me sit. My girl, my little girl didn't let me. Look, she wasn't having that. I'm going to tell you that now. She wanted to get out. She wanted to get out and do stuff. So I had to learn real quick. Like, come yeah. on, man, we're going to get up and do stuff. Even if it hurt me, I was in pain, you know, mm-hmm. I still get, you know, you know, got up and went. So now, man, it's pretty much, you know, whatever I want to do, man, I do it. Like I said, if the yeah. wheelchair go, I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, you know, until That's otherwise, good. you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah. That's real good. That's how you got to be, though. That's how you got to be. Because, like, uh, Cause like you said, you know, you went through a little period where you didn't want to leave the house. Me either. I ain't want to leave, but mine was a mine was a lot longer than a little period, you know. Yeah. So yeah, like so, yeah, like I, and I heard that man in your videos. Man. Yeah. And I was just like, man, it'd be so it'd be so crazy because different people, you know, what I'm saying like stuff be so different, man. Like some yeah. people go through that stage, and mm-hmm. and like everybody tell me though, man, and and that's the. That's the good part where it, where I go back to where I said, man, I got faith, man. It's just yeah. like I ain't never been to the everybody be like, man, you handled mm-hmm. the situation so well. I don't see you down. I don't yeah. see you talking or complaining about it, man. I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell you something, man. It is what it is because regardless of what come out of my mouth and complain and or whatever, you know, complaining or, yeah. or what I say, it still right. ain't gonna change the fact. Like, hey, yeah. I'm sitting in this wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? So 
what what being depressed sitting in the house and that still ain't gonna change nothing. Still gonna mm-hmm. be in the same situation that I'm in. And the only way it's gonna get better is if I be determined, man, to get active. So yeah. man, that's why everybody be like, man, for your age, man, you just you 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 just man, you handle this stuff so well, man. And, and like I said, it's hard sometimes. I have my days, I be just like yeah. Man, you know, I be down, man, because my little girl be wanting me to do stuff, man. Yeah. She come to me like, hey, daddy, can you get on the floor and play with me? And I'm like, I ain't daddy don't feel like it, but she used to that. She knowing that's something, you know, I do, you know, and stuff with her, man. And like right. I said, that's that's the that's the biggest thing, man, to kind of get me down, man. It's like some yeah. stuff that I be wanting to do with my daughter, you know, and stuff that's a little harder for me to do now, which it ain't much, but it just be like, that be the thing, man, because I, I don't be wanting to disappoint her, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. You know, that just be something that, you know, they get me, man. But I quickly, I quickly, I, I refrain out of it real yeah. quick. And, yeah, you know, I refrain out of it real quick, man. And, and just be like, hey, we can do this, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, mm-hmm. you know, and just change everything, man. Yeah. So she don't feel a certain kind of way or feel like, nah, daddy in a wheelchair, he can't do this or he can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. So I try to make it to where, you know, I'm able to do, you know, you know, pretty much whatever she want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and mm-hmm. actually, I can. You know, a lot of stuff I can, man. It's just, yeah. you know. It's just part of it, man. A lot of stuff you have to do differently. It ain't that you mm-hmm. can't do it, it's just you have to do a little stuff a little differently, man. Yeah. When you're paralyzed, being a paraplegic, you know, yeah, yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. And okay. That, oh, I was going to say, and that's your biggest support system right there. Your your daughter, your mother, yeah. your girl. Yeah, that's, father, that's, man, and my yeah. girl, man, yeah. Having them, man, and, and you know, my brother and them, I have, just having them, man, and having that, that that encouraged me, man, and having them there, man, because there's some people, man, that go through stuff, man, and they ain't got no family at all. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and that they, they can help them, they can do stuff, you know what I'm saying, and stuff. So, you know, just having that support, man, it, it's, a, it's a blessing, man, like, because I can't tell you, if I didn't have nobody coming up there, or how, you know what I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. man, don't tell them what kind of mind frame I'll be in, man, but just having exactly. that, man, it's, it's a blessing. You know, it's mm-hmm. having that as a blessing because, you know, everybody don't have that, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, we have to count our blessings, man, be thankful, you know, what we do have it because man, there's people yeah. out here, man, that go through situations way worse than what we going through, man, and ain't got nobody in their corner, you know, yeah. to be able to help them or have people that was there with them that run off and leave them, you know what I'm saying, and stuff Definitely. like that. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Now, now since you've been since you've been in the wheelchair, is is there something that you've been wanting to do that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Man, they're getting on the plane, man. You know, what I knew you was gonna say that for some reason. Plane. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, getting on the plane, man. Like, and besides getting in the truck, man. But you know, that's something yeah, I ain't yeah. worried about. I can do that. But man, getting on the plane, man, because it's like that's something new. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I was just in Cali, like right before the accident happened. Yeah. And the go- and I went when I was up, you know, walking around doing all that, man. So, yeah. You know, it's like I, I want to, man. I want to, you know, experience and see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting on the, you know. Being able to do it on a plane, man. You okay. Know what I'm saying? And stuff, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? You get on first. You get off last. That's it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they yeah. say. Yeah, you get on first. Say. Get off last. I mean, it's not bad. I would say. I would say. Most of the time, you move through the airport a little bit faster, but there there is some things that you know, like stop getting checked. They check your wheelchair. They you know. Checking for an explosive yeah. device. I don't, I don't know what for, but they always check your wheelchair. Yeah, it's like, like nah, man, what you think I'm like? What you think I'm gonna do, man? Yeah, I'm gonna that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like be so crazy, man. Like man, I'm sitting there wheelchair. What you possibly think, man? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, man. But like, like you said, man, people out here, man, that will do something. So, man, yeah, nah, blame, you're right. You're you right. know what I'm saying? It's still to a certain extent. Yeah, you know? I mean, I mean, but for the most part, I enjoy it. I don't really. The only thing that I really have a problem with is if. You know, say I do want to go somewhere, you know, where the flight is like 10 hours because me and her, we want to go to Paris. And like the only thing about it is, is that normally I cath every four to five hours. It's just I would have to go about putting on the leg bag versus cathing. So I don't really have nowhere to really, you know, take my wheelchair on the plane or something like that because they normally put my wheelchair underneath the plane. But I went I went to a event for females that are in wheelchairs and I learned I learned a couple of things from them. And apparently, apparently, let me see. Hold on, real quick. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and close that off. All right, but it's back. Uh, apparently, they apparently there's like a rule or a law where they gotta put your wheelchair on the on the plane. They gotta put your wheelchair on the plane. It's something. I look. I can't remember the law. I'll try to find it and send it to you, but. They got to yeah, yeah, put it on the plane, it, and, and they got to kick somebody off. Me about that too. I was like, man, look, I don't want to look. 
man, look, I ain't trying to have y'all, man, turn up my wheelchair, man. Like, yeah, look, and unfortunately, I, I hear that a lot. Point, I don't need my wheelchair to be broke, because then I'm going to get Oh, yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. That's like my only thing with that, with the whole situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, uh, and unfortunately, I hear about that a lot. I hear about people getting their wheelchairs banged up, uh, broken up, lost. You know, and that's that's you know is is very unfortunate because that's the last thing that you want to have to worry about whenever you go on vacation, you go overseas. Right. You know, you get off the plane, your wheelchair ain't even there. Your wheelchair is in a whole different right. country. You know what I mean? Or they yeah, can't find your right. wheelchair. It's a, it's the last thing that you want to even have to worry about. You know, mm-hmm. but you know it yeah, it, right. it, it yeah. happens to people. So you know, I I yeah, definitely I, 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 I definitely suggest. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I mean but it ain't thing. bad though. Other than that, I'm cool. But yeah, yeah. as long as the wheelchair thing is situated, I'm down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, okay. You know, yeah, but that's about it, man. But look but forward man, to look, it. I got a question for you, man. Yeah. Like, what's what's some man like you've been like you've been doing this man a whole lot longer than me. You've been paralyzed a whole lot longer, man. So, like, man, what is life for you, man? Like, I see you be trapped. You know, you you get out, you drive. You know, what I'm saying you do all that, man. So, like. Man, how, like, how do you feel now that you, you know, you you refrain from being stuck up in the house, man, for a long period of time, and just being able to get out now, and and just being able to be independent with it, not having nobody, you know, having to drive you around, do all mm-hmm. this stuff. Like, how how did how is that for you now? Didn't how it used to be? How is it for me now? Um, it 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 gives me a level of confidence that I know I wouldn't have if I needed to depend on somebody for everything. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and that's one thing that I hated was having to depend on somebody else, you know, because not only do you got to d- depend on somebody else, you know, like you're on a time schedule, you know, and, right. you know, in a way it kind of makes you feel bad because now, now you're taking time away from them. So, taking time away. yeah, exactly, man. that's me, man, because I behave, man, my girl having to put that chair in the back, man, and I'm like, yeah. my beat. Man, that stuff irritate me, man. Especially when having mm-hmm. to pump the gas. That's another hey, look, thing. I'm like, I feel you, know, you on all that. All that stuff, man. I'll be, I'll be like, man, I be hate that, man. But it's, it's just like one of the things. Like, you know, it, it's, it'll get better, man. But yeah. I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm actually, man. It's crazy. So I'm actually in the process of get that set up now, so I can go ahead and get my e back, have my hands control, man, and stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on all that, man. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to do it. I'm mm-hmm. ready, man, because I, I be. Man, I already know. Once I get to driving, it's gonna be on, man. I already know. Yeah. Now, I mean, like to be honest, it does make me feel some type of way when she got to pump gas and everything. But in all honesty, I feel like that that's more so the easiest route. You know what I mean? Her putting the wheelchair. Yeah. You know, like so. For instance, whenever I go get in the car, most of the time I'm driving. She, but but she does drive as well. You know, but most of the time I'm the one that I, I would say either drives first or is driving. And then, you know, I'll take the cushion off, put the cushion in the back seat. I'll take the wheels off, put yeah. those in the back seat, and then she'll take the she'll take the actual wheelchair and she'll put the wheelchair in the yeah. trunk. You know, because yeah, when you that's get your kinda like we do too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kinda like what we do too. We kinda yeah. like it's certain stuff I just gonna throw in the car, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, uh-huh. And then, you know, uh she'll throw the, you know, throw the yeah. chair in the back. But like I said, it's be different though, because like when you by yourself, you mm-hmm. hands on. Like you can throw oh, yeah. all this stuff in the car with you and you ain't gotta yeah. have nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, do it for you. You know what I'm saying? But not always you want to be by yourself when you got a family. So yeah. it's like you got to, you know, got to have that chemistry the way you just mm-hmm. want to be when you, you know, when y'all, you know, when you is with your, you know, yeah. significant other or when you with your child, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You have to do what you have to do. But when you by yourself, man, it really ain't no excuse. You got to do it. Like you yeah, said, that exactly. confidence in yourself to where it's like, I got to get it in here. Or how am I going to get out? You know what I'm saying? You don't put it in here so I'll be able to get yeah. out or I'm just going to not drive. You know, what yeah. I'm going to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, it's like like you said that that level of confidence, man. And that's me. It's like that's my next step. I'm like I'm ready to get dry. It ain't about putting yeah. the wheelchair in. It's just yeah. about getting behind the wheel again, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like yeah, that's what I'm ready to do, man. But like I said, man, I I don't progress so fast, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's ridiculous, man. I, I got video. Everybody love watching me in therapy, man, because everybody be man. They be like, man, dude, I'm watching you, man. It just man, just give me so much motivation, man. Because, that's what's up. I go I go in there and get that stuff, man, 110 percent every time, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Like like yeah. no no lacking, man. I got several videos, man. Like you know, like uh, 
only if you guys could like see, you know what I'm saying? For Kel yeah. to be able to see, man, which, you know what I'm saying, on down the line, man, you know, I, I you know, reaching out to you so you could, you could be able to see this progress, man. You'd be mm-hmm. like, man, dude, your level of injury, man, mm-hmm. like, yeah. dude, man, you, hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, not that, <clears> and well, I can't see it because to me, it just be like, man, it's slow, but everybody yeah. else can see how fast, you know, yeah. you know, you, you starting to do stuff, be able to do stuff, man. And, and I tell anybody, man, that's a paraplegic, you know, and stuff or something to help me out. Your upper body strength, man. Having your upper body strength, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, can help you a long way, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The upper body strength because it makes stuff so much easier on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're weak and can't do nothing, man, especially with pushing up, being able to get, trying to get in the chair, do all that other stuff, man, having your upper body strength. So when I'm in my therapy, you know, I, I, I kind of, you know, I have my session be kind of, I work on my upper body strength and then I'm there working on standing and working on, yeah. you know, balance, doing all that other stuff, man, you know, because that's a, that's a lot. That's, that's real important, man. And I, I know that, man. So, so now it made stuff a whole lot easier because my shoulder was messed up. We couldn't really do nothing. Mm-hmm. So now, man, it's, you know, I get up, man, get myself in and out of the chair, you know, get myself in it, you know, get out, I get up in the morning, you know, yeah. get up, get a bath, man, you know, put my own, you know, put my clothes on myself get in my chair on my own, you know, get in the bed on my own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, get in the car on my own, I do all that, man. So, like I said, mm-hmm. you know, for me to make it to that level now, man, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, like I said, I'm real, I'm real confident in myself, man, because I knew where I used to be. And yeah. for me to be able to do all that stuff now, man, and I had to have nobody help me get out the bed and help me get in the chair, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a transfer, be able to do all that, man. I'm so mm-hmm. glad I don't, you know what I'm saying, be needing that, man, you yeah. know, and stuff now. So, it's like, you know, that's how I know, man. I came a long way. So, yeah. you know, and it I, is what it is, man. It's only going to get better. Right. Exactly. And I, I was shocked, like you said, that you, you had your accident just last year. Mm-hmm. So your story alone, it's it's a true testimony that, you know, it can happen sooner than you think. Yeah, it might not happen overnight. Yeah. And it's still yeah, going. It happen overnight. And even right yeah. now in this moment in, in time, it's, it's still going. You know, you're still working towards other things, you know, driving yeah. by yourself, things like that. So it, it, this is just to yeah. show others out there, you know, it takes time, yeah, it but happen, it's possible. Man. Don't give up. Yep. Right. Don't give exactly. up, man. I tell about it. Don't give up, man. Don't give mm-hmm. up on yourself, man. You know what I'm saying, and I I looked at it like this, man, and and this and this day this this my my strength right here, man. The first thing I tell people, man, is that God didn't give up on me in the accident, man, and and you know, and I'm still blessed to be here. So yeah. it ain't I ain't gonna give up on myself, man. Ain't no point right. me to give up on myself for God didn't give up on me, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know right. that's that's what I'm gonna stand by. You know what I'm saying? It is yeah. what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you know, suck it up, take it like a champ, man, and keep moving, man, cause life don't stop. Life yeah. don't stop, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I tell anybody, you gonna go through this little rough right. little patch, man. Everybody that go that they get yep. injured like this, I have these different problems. You gonna yeah. go through your your little your little stretch of where you might feel down, or uh, man, why you might you might be man, you might sit there and break down, man. Sometimes I gotta have that happen, man. Like you know, what I'm saying break down, man, because I be wanting to do stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing I'm able, I was able to do something and, and yeah. can't do it, man. Frustrates you so much, man. Till you dig be down, man. I'm like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Man, ain't no need to be getting like that because it's only gonna get better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I sit here and do well on this, then I ain't gonna get nowhere. So nah. Shake that off, man. Mm-hmm. Keep going, man. So Exactly. You know, like I said, everybody gonna go through it, man. It's just don't give up on yourself, man, because yeah. you know, you the you the one that's gonna determine how much you're gonna be able to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you the one going through the situation. It ain't up to nobody else. You, yeah. your, your wife, girlfriend, anybody, they can tell you, hey, do this, do that. But if you don't have that in your mind or have that, you know what I'm saying, have that determination to do it, then you're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got to have that confidence in yourself. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is there any um, anything that we probably didn't ask you that you wanted to say? Any questions you have? Any other questions you want to say on the podcast? Uh, man, really, like I told Kev, man, anything. Anything, man. I, uh, you know, like I said, I pretty much touched it. You know, everything. Like I was yeah. telling him, we kind of <laughs> talked about the driving. You know, driving mm-hmm. for question, and I still been looking it up. You know, what I'm saying the stuff, and I was like, man, I don't know if I need to ask him about that on the on the on the podcast or what, or do I need to call him? We was talking about the yeah. blood control, man, because I was trying to, I was talking about all that, man. But but uh, like I said, man, that's that's just about it, man. <clears> just knowing. You know, trying to get, you know, God, like I said, you, man, you learn stuff every day, man. And mm-hmm. I know this, man, having, having people that you're close with that's in wheelchairs, man, can help you out a whole lot, man. Yeah. Because it might be stuff you can do that they can't do and stuff that, you know, they can do that you can't do. So it, mm-hmm. so it helps, man. So that's why when I got the opportunity to talk to Kel, man, I was just asking him, like, man, look, I'm about to go 
and go and get these hand control, man. But I seen yours in your car, and it's crazy because that's the kind I want. So I and he like, man, I, I got uh, I got somewhere you can go and get them phones. So I kind of been like, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna touch bases with him on the podcast about that, man, mm-hmm. yeah, just to see like, you know, like have you ever dealt with them or how, you know, or what do you do when it comes down to situations yeah. like that when you need controls and stuff like that. But other than that, man, you guys covered everything, man, and I was blessed to be on this podcast. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that, and I appreciate, I appreciate y'all giving me that opportunity. You know what I'm saying and stuff to share my story, man, because there's people out here, man, that that's you know that might be ashamed, or there's people out here that might sure. not have yeah. the confidence to get on here and yeah. talk. You know what I'm yeah. saying and stuff about they about they story, man. But to me, you know what I'm saying, like it's it's to help somebody else. I did this yeah. to help somebody else. You know what I'm saying, like yeah. I could easily <clears throat> you know keep doing what I'm doing because I, I right. I'm, I'm confident in myself. So you know what I'm saying, I can yeah. easily do it. But I yeah. got on this podcast and really wanted to do it because I wanted you know other people to see like man, it ain't yeah. about how long you've been paralyzed or how how recent it been, you know what I'm saying? Like you can get further than what you think, man. If you just had that determination, man, had that faith, man. Exactly. You know, you can do it. You know what I mean? So, you know, so this whole thing of me wanting to do this, man, was to help somebody else. That's what's And for that, we thank you. We appreciate you for coming on here and really sharing your story because, you know, for some people, it's really hard for some of us, you know, you step it up and let people know that it's it's bigger days coming you know with bigger things in life to do yeah. more um, blessings coming yeah. more life coming right. man, everything so um i also wanted <laughs> yeah. to say life, man. yeah where can people follow you like if they want to keep in touch with you or if anybody has any questions for you maybe that you know people in your area too yeah how can they um, reach out to you if anybody you know have any questions man or anything man they want to ask me you know Man, feel free, man, to reach out to me, man. My name on Instagram, man, is uh, uh, 901 uh, DJ, uh, you know, uh, underscore, man. So, you know, man, they, hey, if okay. they want to hit me up, man, hit me up, man. I ain't, you know, I ain't no, hey, look, man, I'm real friendly, man. I, I don't mind helping nobody, man. So, That's what's if you want to hit me up, man, ask me any questions, man. You know, ask me questions, man, because, you know, I'm here to help too, man. I'm here to. You know what I'm saying? Here to help share this message on, man. Cause there's people out here that real deal need this, man. Like, yeah, they like do. me watching y'all, man, they didn't do nothing but but help me, man. You don't understand, man. Y'all, y'all help me, man. Watching you get in out that car, man, that stuff built my confidence, man. Real fast. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, nah, man. I know I'm about to jump back in yeah. the car. Yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. because it's like you need that though, man. Me yeah. me seeing that then do number make me want to be able to have that motivation and that stride, mm-hmm. you know, to want to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? So so like I said, man, look, if anybody want to reach out to me, man, they, they definitely can, man. I, I don't mind, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm here to answer any questions, man, because I know if it was me on the other end, I would want to ask somebody a question. When you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what you do is ask. Yep. You know what I'm saying, man? And sometimes I know people be be ashamed or be, you know, be scared to ask people stuff, man. But, man, don't be ashamed to ask nobody, man, because there's somebody out there that will help you. You know what yeah. I mean? So. Okay. Yeah, so you know, this one of them things, man. So, you know. All right, then. Well, look, my man, we appreciate you coming on, sharing your story. Because, like you said, you know, this is something that people need to hear. You know, and that's why I do yeah. the videos that I do. That's why we, you know, share share what we share online, and that's why I post what I post on Instagram and on YouTube. It's because it's a lot bigger than me. Yeah. You know, I just want the information to get out there because I know how it feels to be in a situation where you don't want to leave the house, where you don't want to leave the bed. You know, where you want to get independent, where you want to drive and you don't know how to, you know, and that's why I post yeah. stuff like that, you know, so people can get that, you know, that encouragement, you know, so they can, you know, want to get up, want to do better. But I tell people all the time, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, you got to put it in the work. You got to go through therapy. You got to, yeah. you know, look, it's going to be rough, yeah. but trust me, yeah. when you do therapy, yeah. just doing it every day, everything that you learn in therapy yeah. is what's going to carry you for the rest of your life. That's going, you know, everything I learned in therapy, I do every day to this day. You know, every, every trans, yeah, like, you know, you got to learn your highs and lows, you know, when it comes to transferring, all that stuff. You know, because, again, yeah, you you transfer in and out the bed, you transfer in and out the shower chair, you transfer in and out the car. You know, you got to do all that type of stuff, you know, and also you got to have the endurance, too. Yep, you got to have the endurance to push your wheelchair, all that. So... I ain't gonna lie, sometimes, man, pushing that bad boy be some serious, man. And we be on the head with a bit apart, man. And I be like, you know what I'm saying? Be, yeah. It be it be feeling good, man, for my lady to be just pushing the chair for me sometimes. But I'm just so yeah. want to be so independent, man. Like I said, you got to want to do all this stuff, man. Yeah, exactly. I tell you, if you don't want to do it, it ain't doing nothing but making it hard on yourself, mm-hmm. man. Y'all enjoy yes. the rest of that day, man. All right. Y'all enjoy y'all, man. Anytime, man. Anytime. I appreciate it, my man. You have a good one. 
Alright, you too, man. Alright, bet. Got to let it go.